RTX is super cool. However, it isn't really made for the average user. The average user just needs to block out background noise that they don't want coming in on their microphone. Things like fan noise, AC noise. In most cases, this noise can actually be removed by simply putting a noise gate filter or a downward expander on your microphone. If you don't know how to set up those filters, I suggest watching my Equalizer APO video that I just did. It was my previous video. I will link it in the description below. In that video, I show you how to set up a number of different filters. I definitely suggest watching that video. In this video specifically, I'm not going to be showing you a downward expander or a noise gate filter. No, I'm going to be showing you a noise reduction filter, something we can use to subtract audio from coming in on our microphone. Removing that unnecessary background noise from coming in on your mic is going to improve the overall quality of your video and live streams. Along with improving the background of your microphone, we want to improve the background of your camera and overall visual of your stream. And the best way to do that is by using overlay packs from nerd or die Nerd or Die has all kinds of different overlays for all kinds of different games and themes. You can definitely find something to suit you and your brand. Each one of their overlays can be customized to what you want. You can change the colors. You can change all kinds of different stuff. It's definitely worth checking out what they have to offer. Everything purchased using the Nerd or Die link in the description below will actually help fund my channel and my content. So definitely check out what Nerd or Die has to offer using the link in the description below. This noise reduction filter is really cool. There's actually two ways of setting it up. You could set it up in Equalizer APO, but you'll have to manually set up the audio that you want to subtract. Otherwise, it won't work the way you want it to. Or you could set it up to where it works live on your microphone, similar to RTX Voice does. Actually, pretty much identically to how RTX Voice works. But you will need to use something like a VST host. A VST host will actually monitor your microphone live so that you can have a live VST plugin working on your microphone. I will first show you how to set up the noise reduction plugin in Equalizer APO by setting up a sound profile in something like Audition or Audacity. If you are using Audacity, you want to download the 32-bit version of the Reaper plugins. And in order to use this plugin, you need to download the plugin. The link for that is in the description below. If you have any issues along the way with any installations or any of the setup process along with this video, feel free to hop in my Discord server. We've got so many smart people in there that are willing to help you. Just get in the Discord and go to the support section. You'll find all the help options you need there. Also, if you guys do like content like this, do me a solid. Hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. All right, on our recording software, what we need to do is create a sound profile of the background noise that we have on our mic. It's very easy to do, right? You just need to record your microphone without any filters on the microphone, just the raw audio of your microphone um, in the recording software. Then we will use the reefer plugin in that software, and then we'll follow along with the setup process here. So first thing we need to do is record our microphone. I'm going to go ahead and turn off all the filters I have on the mic. Now you're hearing the raw audio of the mic. It probably sounds pretty bad. So now that you have that raw recording, you really only need like, you know, five to 10 seconds. You don't need a very long recording. We're going to go ahead and plug in that reefer plugin. You're going to, it's really going to be dependent on the software that you're using. So just go ahead and set up the reefer plugin. Um, you'll most likely find it in the VST section and it will be this one here. It'll be a re -affer. So go ahead and set that up. And what you'll notice is it will monitor the frequency range here of your microphone. What you need to do is change the mode from EQ to subtract. And the next thing we want to do is automatically build noise profile. This is automatically going to build the profile based on what's coming into the microphone. So it's literally subtracting everything right now from my microphone except for here's the deal we don't want it precise because we won't be able to set up exactly this line in equalizer apo unless you have extremely talented drawing skills which you would really have to spend some serious time doing but you could do that we want to switch it over to smooth and we're going to hit the reset button the next thing we want to do is hit play as you can see as the audio is uh coming in on this track here you see the noise or the floor noise of my room here. 
And to be honest with you, normally it's a lot higher than this. So pretty cool that it's not that much, right? It's pretty easy to subtract this completely from the microphone. The way we're going to do that is by using these dots here. Now you can actually draw this manually if you want to by holding down on the shift key. So anyways, what you want to do is draw a line here using the points and subtract out this volume completely from coming in on your mic. All right, so what I'm going to do is open Equalizer APL. I'm going to drag the reefer plugin all the way to the top, and then I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. What you will notice with this plugin is something that is called artifacting. I didn't know this until the audio doc or coffee rat in my discord server explained it to me, but artifacting is that weird sound that you're hearing. It's kind of a weird warping to the vocals. Uh, the only real way that I've noticed to combat the artifacting with this plugin is by adjusting the FFT size. Now, as I was listening to that last clip we just recorded after setting it up, it was very muffled from having the plugin at the top of the list of process priority. This is what it sounds like with the same exact settings at the very bottom. I have turned off the ex downward expander and noise gate, so all of the noise reduction is happening with this plugin it's not muffling out my voice like it was before so interestingly enough I would have assumed that we wanted this plugin at the very top but actually we want it at the bottom after all of the processes have been complete so you will need to set up a sound profile um, with your processing active so that you can properly subtract what you need subtracted uh, so it, it, it will be a bit more extreme than this all right, just to show you guys that I did actually like set this up and this is what it would sound like. So um, I set this up. This would be my sound profile after, you know, my compression and everything. It's a little bit, you know, there's a little bit more background noise because the compression is bringing up those lower volumes. But anyways, this is what it sounds like. My downward expander and noise gate are off. So if I were using this plugin to reduce the uh, volume, on my mic, this is what it would sound like and this is what it would look like here. All right, the live VST host that I'm using is called Element. Um, according to the Audio Ninja in my Discord server, Paddleboard is the superior VST host, but for some reason I was struggling importing the Reaper plugins into the Paddleboard application. So uh, for this video, I'm gonna show you how to set this up in Element. It's literally the same exact setup this is what a vst host looks like uh, currently i have my microphone disabled so that i can actually record this video and i don't have to do a bunch of crazy routing but essentially you would set up your microphone and then you would route this microphone to the reaper plugin and then you would route the output of this plugin for this plugin in the live vst host what you will do is exactly the same thing you'll go ahead and hit subtract with your microphone enabled you can actually put this bad boy on precise and then click automatically build noise profile the same thing as before building a sound profile in adobe edition or audacity you want to make sure that you're not talking into the microphone at all and what you will do is let it build that profile and once the profile is built i would let it run for say just a minute or so so it gets all the variations in the sound and then just untoggle the automatically build uh, noise profile here once you have the profile built you can simply just leave that plugin completely alone and it will cut out in a very precise way all of that unnecessary background noise from your microphone that concludes this tutorial the main reason i made this video is because a lot of people are using the rtx voice and personally i don't think that people need to use rtx voice like i said most people just need to apply a noise gate filter or a downward expander but if you like the way rtx voice functions this functions in a very similar way you guys can expect updated voice meter tutorials in the near future i'm talking about voice meter potato voice meter banana maybe do some stuff with the virtual audio cables who knows but we need some we need to update the voice
voice meter tutorials the editing was just not good the audio in those videos aren't good i think i need to increase the quality and i think that we'll get a lot of new people within the community that way but with that being said guys i want to thank you so much for watching this video if you like this content do me a solid hit the like button and subscribe to the youtube channel for more content like this if you're interested in helping fund this channel and fund my Discord server, check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash thefrancois. I want to personally thank all of my Patreons. I've got 11 Patreons currently. You guys are freaking awesome. You guys help fund the channel. You guys help fund what's going on in the Discord server. So thank you guys so much for being a part of that. With that being said, I want to thank you again, and uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.